I'm Peter Selkirk. The company is PyroPure. We are focused on clinical waste, and in particular, this sort of clinical waste, which is the 20% of clinical waste contaminated by pathogens, chemicals, and pharmaceuticals. In other words, this is the nasty stuff. Safe treatment of this sort of waste is one of the world's most pressing environmental problems. Now, today, this material has to be stored, consolidated, and moved to the small number of specially permitted high temperature incinerators where it can be safely destroyed. Many countries have none of these units, and this sort of waste can be moved huge distances, or worse, dumped. We have invented, which is the bottom line of non-existent trucks and so on, we have invented the world's first small-scale machine that is not an incinerator and that enables on-site destruction. Our solution disrupts the existing norm. It reduces the cost by eliminating storage and transportation. It reduces the risk by eliminating transfers and handovers of this sort of hazardous waste. And it is sustainable by eliminating waste miles and generating heat for reuse. And it is easy to implement for the user by replacing a monthly collection charge with a monthly service fee. Here's the technology. It uses pyrolysis and gasification with catalytic cleaning of the resulting gases in a small scale automatic machine that's easily installed on site. One machine will process 20 tons of waste per year, bag by bag. This is a world first, and it is protected by four granted patents and a fifth pending with worldwide coverage. How does this work economically? PyroPure or its licensees will deploy the machine as a service for a monthly fee. Now, for example, here in the US, a customer pays for this sort of waste to be taken away and treated about a dollar a pound. As outlined here, he would save nearly 50%. That's the $20,000 saving off the $45,000 cost on the right-hand side. He would save nearly 50%. PyroPure installs the machine, maintains it, obtains the permitting, and generates a 20-month payback on the cost of the machine. In Asia, Asia, we envisage deployment through licensees. We earn the license fees. We also have ongoing revenue from the spares. Now, this is a big market. It's a $10 billion global market. It's growing fast, powered by demographics, the healthcare market growth, and tightening environmental regulations worldwide. Notably, in particular, right now, in the US. Now, our market rollout plan focuses on the US initially. There, the economics look great. There are no high temperature incinerators in the western half of the US, so this sort of waste is often shipped thousands of miles. And the US has recently become very focused on the issue of pharmaceutical contamination of water supplies. New federal regulations are being introduced right now, making it illegal to dump surplus pharmaceuticals into the drain. One competitor is dominant, a company called Stericycle. They collect and remotely incinerate. Only PyroPure has a proven on-site alternative. This year, we will complete development and run trials here in the UK. And next year, we aim to launch in the US. Here's the team. Uh, our principal dis uh, investor is Disruptive Capital, represented here. Hi. Um, and uh, I just want to point out uh, the bottom right there, Professor Alistair Boxall from the University of York has been working with us. He's a world authority on environmental toxicology, uh, where we, and with him we've done some groundbreaking work on the destruction of pharmaceutical 
contaminants. We do have lots of financial forecasts, of course. Just a quick summary. We're forecasting five years after commercialization, 3,000 machines installed worldwide, and 20 million EBITDA. Now, we're ready for investment. Right now, our, our prototype in Hampshire is demonstrating the processing rates we're seeking. We've now achieved the difficult goal of destroying plastic-rich rich waste. We've demonstrated destruction of these, pathologic, of these pharmaceutical agents and live pathogens. We've achieved the regulatory wins we were seeking here in the UK. We've done multiple successful field trials on earlier versions. We're now looking for 1.6 million, half of which uh, has been secured in principle to complete development and prepare for U.S. launch. Thank you.